everyone, my name is Tamara Hunt. Today I'm going to share with you some tips on how to prepare for your very first autocross. This is my 2005 Mazda RX-8. It's prepped for C Street Autocross. I'm going to walk you through with this car what sort of things you should do to get your car ready along with yourself. So you might be wondering, why would you go to an autocross? What is autocross? Autocross is generally easy on cars and low risk compared to other high performance driving events. The events are typically held in large parking lots or old airstrips, and they're designed using traffic cones. Although you don't typically exceed highway speeds, the combination of precise driving maneuvers where you can push your car to the 100% limit of its cornering and your driving ability leaves you with an addicting adrenaline rush. The hazards are low, typically made with few cone stops, and entry fees are some of the cheapest in the motorsports world. If you're wondering how to find out about events in your area, I recommend the website motorsportrag.com. Or you can simply search for autocross clubs in your area, and you can find their websites with links on how and where to register. So now that you've signed up for your first autocross, there's a few things you should do to get your car ready ahead of time. Autocross is not very hard on cars, but you do want to make sure your car is in generally good mechanical condition. So one of the first things we're going to do is check our car's fluid levels. One of the most important things to check is your car's oil level. Also, just think about when the last time your oil change was done. If you're due, maybe think about doing an oil change. Also, check your coolant levels, check your clutch and brake fluid levels, and while you're in here, go ahead and check that your battery's tight. It's one of the things we'll check in tech inspection. So the next thing to check is that your tires and your brakes are in decent condition. You don't need any specific racing tires if this is your first time out to autocross. Just whatever's on your car will do the trick. Just make sure that there's no excessive wear or cording. Another tip I have is to make sure you air up your tires about 10 PSI over what the door sill calls for. This will help ensure that you don't get any excessive tire wear when you're at the event. Also, just as an extra safety precaution, I always recommend that you retorque your wheels. So the next thing we're going to do is make sure our car is completely cleaned out. One of the things we're going to check at the technical inspection is to make sure that there's nothing in your car that could fly around. Also, you want to make sure that you remove your floor mats. This will make sure that there's no chance of one getting stuck under a pedal. So now that your car is ready, next most important thing is to make sure that you're ready. One thing I recommend, make sure you bring a little toolkit along. That way in case, you know, you forget to tighten that battery I mentioned earlier, you have some tools to do it. Next most critical thing, never forget your painter's tape. This way you can put your car number and your class number on your car. Or, if you're really organized, you can bring magnets. Next thing to consider is you're going to be at autocross all day long. You're going to get thirsty, you're going to need some snacks, maybe even bring a packed lunch in case you don't have time to leave the site. Also, next thing you need to make sure of is to think about the weather. If it's going to be sunny out, maybe bring in some sunglasses, some sunscreen, maybe a hat, or, you know, maybe bring a rain jacket just to make sure in case it rains you're fully prepared. Next most critical thing, shoes. You're going to walk the course a lot, you're going to have a worker session, you're going to be on your feet a lot. I recommend closed toe shoes that are nice and flexible. You want to make sure that you can feel the pedal. Tips in this video today helped you out in preparing for your first autocross. Make sure you stay tuned for the next part of the series where we're going to go over what you expect when you arrive. Thanks for watching.